Hello everyone. I welcome you all to yet another video from Biotechnica. Today I am going to give you some insights regarding Unit 12 from CSANet Life Science Syllabus that is Applied Biology. What are the important topics and the corresponding reference book. So basically when we divide the CSIR net life science syllabus, usually we have two things. Certain units which, cons which is considered as skippable and there are certain units that, sh that are considered as no non-skippable. Right. And when it comes to unit 12, it basically comes under this category. Skippable. But what I suggest is that Instead of completely skipping this unit, we can pick up those topics from where the questions are being asked every time. So to know that, let's look into the syllabus first. The syllabus of unit 12 is divided into 8 subunits. To begin with, we have microbial fermentation followed to that immunological principles transgenesis both in plants and animals, genomics and gene therapy, bioresources and biodiversity, breeding in plants and animals along with molecular markers, bioremediation and phytoremediation and the last part is biosensor. If you have a keen observation to the topics of this unit, you will find that there are many topics which you have already covered in some other units. For example, application of immunological principles, vaccines and diagnostic part. All the three topics comes under 4E immunology and the techniques parts comes under unit 13. So, you are already covering this portions in either of this unit. So, that's not a problem. Next, if you see, we have uh, molecular approaches to diagnosis and strain identification. So, this part of uh, unit 12C includes the techniques. Techniques like PCR, blotting, etc. So, these techniques are anyways again covered under unit 30. So you will come to know about how to uh, identify the blots, how to identify the bands from unit 30. Next we are having bioresources and uses of biodiversity which is again a part of unit 9 as well as unit 10. So anyways these topics are being covered in the other units which are considered to be the important one. So obviously, when you look into the 12th unit syllabus, these topics are automatically covered. Apart from that, the other topics which can be covered will show you in the upcoming slide. So I have divided the topics into three parts. Most important, medium important and least important. So let's have a look on to that. Most important topics include transgenic plants and animals. Yes, 4 marks questions are always expected from this part. Basically, the agrobacterium based questions comes from here. And every time when you open any question paper of any year, you will find at least one question is being asked from this part. Of course, uh, the way the question has been asked earlier compared to now is changed. The trend is changed because earlier we used to get direct questions. Direct questions that is based upon the virulence genes, based upon the steps that are involved in gene transformation, those things we are asked. But nowadays the questions are being modified. Modified in the sense they are being combined with other units like genetics, and they can also be combined with some techniques. Quite challenging, but once you keep on practicing the questions from this part, you will be able to adapt it. The next important topic is gene therapy. Even though gene therapy is not 
always an expected question from here but whenever they had asked if you go through the previous question paper you'll find that it comes in the form of four marks again then moving on to the next topic that is bio resources and uses of biodiversity one match the following kind of question can be expected from here and that too in the form of four marks so that could be related to the uh, species like endangered species vulnerable species or extinct species other than that we have biosphere reserves national parks sanctuaries tiger reserves based on that also the questions do come but at least one match the following we can always expect from here next coming to the markers molecular markers sometimes they will ask sometimes they will skip but whenever they will ask the questions it will be in the form of again four marks so that's why i have kept all these topics under most important topics so among this bio resources part and agrobacterium part are the two important topics which if you want to focus on unit 12 should never be skipped moving on to the second part that is the medium important topics we have microbial fermentation sometimes they ask sometimes they skip but whenever they had asked it came in the form of two marks immunological principles diagnostics that is elisa ria and those techniques not frequently asked but if they are asking again it comes in the form of four marks but it is not as frequent as others that's why i have kept it under medium important tissue culture techniques once upon a time tissue culture techniques that is specifically plant tissue culture techniques was a, a topic from where the questions are always expected and that too in the form of four marks but if you look into the current trend or the recent four to five question papers you will find that the frequency and in fact i can say the previous year and to that previous year the questions are never touched from this part so gradually the number of questions are getting reduced same is the case with animal tissue culture usually from plant tissue culture you used to get four marks but now it has been nil from animal tissue culture we used to get two marks but that is also we have uh, the questions are being stopped apart from that molecular approaches to diagnosis and strain identification as i told you initially this is related to techniques so they may ask combined with some other topic that is a possibility bio remediation phyto remediation and bio sensors are kind of topics which are optional and even though they are asking usually comes in the form of two marks so that's why these medium important topics are something which usually comes in the rotational basis like for example if they are asking the question from fermentation they will skip it from gene therapy if they are asking the questions from molecular approach to diagnosis they may skip the molecular markers so basically these topics are something which is asked in the rotational basis they are it's not that they are asking every time and the least important part that is the genomics part now till now csr have not touched the bioinformatics part so that's why it is kept under the least important topics so now that you came to know about the important topics from the examination point of view you can sit for some time and focus only on these topics just to cover unit 12 no need to sit for the whole day to cover the entire all the subunits from unit 12 as i mentioned there are certain topics from where the questions are expected so kindly focus on that and proceed ahead then if you ask me the weightage of this uh, unit of course the weightage is also less and maybe that's the reason we are consider it as a skippable unit so a maximum of two questions can be expected 
Sometimes 2 plus 1 can also be expected 2 in the form of part C, 1 in the form of part B or sometimes they will just wind up asking one part C questions. So that depends. So maximum 3 questions we can expect from here otherwise they will just wind up with one question only. And that's the reason unit 12 is considered to be the least important unit from syllabus. Next, moving on to the reference book. Uh, if, if you are focusing on uh, fermentation part, then Stanbury is the best book. Followed to that, we have Casida, where you will get to know about the industrial microbiology, specifically regarding the microorganisms. Uh, which are responsible for producing industrially important components that can be used for commercial purposes. Next, for agrobacterium related uh, topics, you can always refer to T.A. Brown. The uh, virulence genes and the sequence of events with images is provided nicely in this book. Next, uh, for environmental biotechnology, that is, uh, uh, you can always focus on events and furlong. When it comes to plant tissue culture, U Satyanarayan is a good book which covers almost all the topics from the syllabus. Razdan is also good. Uh, for plant breeding, one can go for BD Singh. And for animal tissue culture, one can go for iron freshening. So that's it from my side. Thank you so much everyone. So see you again in another video with another new topic.